Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Dallas Cowboys. Coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis and CD the Bengals. Well, they're officially no fluke. Champions of the AFC for a second consecutive year. And how about the Cincinnati Bengals franchise? Before last year, they had not won a playoff game since January of 1991. They are now 0-3 in Super Bowls with the loss last year to the Rams. Two previously to Joe Montana, 49ers in the 1980s, looking to get their first championship in this one. Meanwhile, the Cowboys have had some ups and downs since their last Super Bowl appearance, but they're back for the ninth time, trying to win number six and tie the Patriots and Steelers. For the Cowboys, their last Super Bowl title quite a while ago, January of 96. And those were great teams. Jimmy Johnson was their head coach. Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, all Hall of Famers. They were known as the triplets. But then you go further back to those great teams in the 70s, led by Hall of Fame coach Tom Landry, Roger Staubach at quarterback, Tony Dorsett at running back. Those were great teams as well. This one, trying to create their own identity. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they come with a jet sweep here as Burrow just taps that forward. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Still nine remaining on second down. Now it's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. On third and one, Burrow. Got a man, it's Chase, he completes it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should gotta pick up a holding call. Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it's so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, and they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. He's going to catch the A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it.
On third down, Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. and really gets them amped up as they go forward. On second and inches, Burrow. They'll roll him out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Play action is supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. Burrow looking to pass. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? They'll try and run with Mixon. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Well, that's what's called being aggressive right there. But I don't know that it's reckless. I think it's much more of a message. A defense, I believe in you in case we don't get it. An offense, trying to let them know he believes in them as well. I like it. Your first drive of the game in plus territory. Be aggressive. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Again, it's Mixon. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On second and nine, Burrow. Here's Higgins out of the right side. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 19. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He completes it to Boyd. Touchdown! Joe Burrow with a touchdown connection to Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. And they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game.
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two-time Pro Bowler. Two years ago, we saw Dak Prescott carted off the field with a major injury. And two years later, here he is leading his Cowboys into the Super Bowl. What a rewarding moment for one of the league's most inspirational players. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31 yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Flush to his right. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide and he has the first as well. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. First down, Prescott. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. Seven nothing is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we are back, biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. On second down, Elliott. They got five through the air last play, now five on the ground, first and ten. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Prescott down. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Here's Prescott. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of the first down. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on them. But as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. 
The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Now Burrow on first down. This goes out wide for Mixon. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow, he's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Mixon with a first down carry. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. That's a really nice play. Be able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. On second and nine, Burrow. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 25-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Mixon is into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. McPherson on for the point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drives seven plays in length. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon.
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Takes it at the seven. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing. Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now this throw caught left side. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 64 yards. And the Cowboys are on the board here in this Super Bowl. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over, this game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And just inside of a minute left, Charles. They got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this. But you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. The Burroughs throw taken in here by Chase. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. From midfield now, Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half.
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Burrow. A hit as he throws there incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Burrow will throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing again, it's Burrow. To the right side and complete to Hurst. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. McPherson's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Cowboys are going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Now Prescott able to hit his target Lamb. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Prescott. Another one to C.D. Lamb. He's got it. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First down throw for Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our... One of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three.
These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Takes it at the seventh. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. On the option, here's Elliott. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. First down carry by Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They go to Elliott again. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. But well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Taylor now returning it. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air, escaping the pressure right. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He will find his man Chase complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. 23 yards the pick up there. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now it's Burrow. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Burrow on play action. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Inside handoff to Mixon. Down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got six, now second and four. And they'll accept that penalty. Following the delay, here's second and nine. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. Call it a gain of six on the play, and now it's third and three. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that touchdown Bengals. Hayden Hurst, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17.
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Prescott. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Prescott to throw it. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. From the gun to give to Mixon. And down inside the 15 he goes. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. Yeah, in this part of the game, the fourth quarter, this is where a running back really has a chance to shine. This is what they've been training for, to take over the game down the stretch. The defense, it's been battered all game long. And here, this is just a case of a runner imposing his will and deciding he didn't want to be tackled right there. Now Burrow on first down. Quick slant caught by Chase. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Now it's Burrow. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bengals are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know 
just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is now 24. the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away this one taken just inside the 10 and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30 Dallas offense set for this next drive and it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night that Lombardi trophy so close but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10 So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Tackle made that time by B.J. Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. On second down, Elliott once more. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 43 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. And this time he is in. Yes. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys are able to cut into that deficit. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. 
Fielded right around the eight. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Bengals set to take over. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers. Fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a Bengal first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Mixing up the middle. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Here's a give to Mixon. And he's got some space here. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. A handoff to Mixon. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. 
103 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this Super Bowl. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bow. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we see? Their last play and walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock, and they can watch the final seconds tick. Bengal Nation rejoice. Cincinnati has given you the Super Bowl title. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Thank <laughs> you. 